Hi, I'm John from The Gun Shop and I'm here today to talk about gun fit. Gun fitting, uh, what is it, why we do it, what sort of things it involves, and uh, yeah, let's start. So gun fit, the whole concept of gun fit is to make this gun fit you. Uh, the whole part of hitting stuff with a shotgun is aligning your rear eye with this rib, down the centre of this rib with this bead, connecting your eye with the bead with the target and pulling the trigger. Well, it's also anticipating lead, drop, all of the things and where to put the gun, but that's by the by, that's a whole nother thing. If the gun isn't pointing where you want it to point, you're not going to hit anything. Imagine if you like your rear eye is like the rear sight of a rifle. The foresight is a fixed foresight, you can't change that. However, on a rifle you can go click, 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 left, right, up, down, until you have zeroed your rifle on target. There's no need for fingers there. You zero your rifle. You can zero your shotgun. Essentially, getting your eye into the correct position to put that bead on something and have that bead centre pattern every time you pull the trigger. That is the point in good gun fit. Of course you can make yourself fit around a gun. You can sort of, as we've said before, roll your head over, put your head up, knock your head right down, roll your head the other way. You can make a gun fit you. You can put it out your shoulder. You can do what you like to be able to get your eye in the right position. But unless it is natural, you will not be a good natural shooter. So, uh, the first measure that we're going to talk about that we're going to take whilst fitting a gun is the length of pull. The length of pull is from the centre of the back of the stock to the furthest point back on the trigger. Or, you know, if it's a full sweat back, you get the, you get the point, right? Um, from there to there. On most guns, this will range from somewhere between 14 and a half to 15 inches from the factory. And this will fit most people. Um, most people who are between, you know, 5'6 five, 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 and 5'11. Once you get over the 6 foot mark, you start to find them a little bit short. Uh, this length is determined by a number of factors. There's obviously the old test where you hold it on the crook of your arm and your finger pad can pull the trigger. That's about the right length. These uh, the three fingers from your nose to the... From where your nose goes to the front there, like... So, like this, or like this, and those two are, um, they're not great to be honest. There's a lot more factors to go into than that just to see if your gun's going to fit you in length. It's a good indication of length, think it'd be wrong, however, the nose thing can be changed by just bringing your head up the stock, oh this gun's too short, oh this gun's too long, uh, and the arm thing can be changed quite simply by um, just changing your arm. So they're not immense indicators, they're pretty good. That's a good start. There's a lot of factors to go to, let's say. Height, neck length, arm length, um, hand size, the shape of your body. If you've got massive shoulders, if you spend your life down the gym, you're gonna need a slightly short stock because you've got an inch of muscle there. Uh, the same goes for if you like uh, McDonald's a little bit and you're carrying a little bit of extra weight for the winter, a bit of insulation, there's nothing wrong with that. But you need to take that off the back of your gun. Hence, fit can actually fluctuate throughout your life as your body changes and so on and so forth. Your stock length can fluctuate. There's obviously a bit more than just length of pull. You have length to the toe and length to the heel. Uh, this, called the, the actual pitch of the stock, can change regarding body size, but that's a little bit further on down the line than just your standard stock length. Body shape will matter as to how you have this, this actual the, the pitch of the stock, a skinnier person might want it a little bit deeper, a bit longer at the toe, same as game shooting, and uh, ladies, uh, bodybuilders, larger gentlemen and larger women will obviously want uh, a round toe to stop it digging in to their pectorals. Um, that's length. A lot of what you look for with length is comfort, but let's say uh, it's better to get it checked by somebody who knows what they're on about. With, though, you know, what I'm saying is if you're over six foot, get it checked. If you're under five, six, get it checked. If you're in between, get it checked. Uh, an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch can make all the difference. So get a gun that fits, and or get a gun, make sure the length is right. That is the first thing you need to check. The second measurement I'm going to talk about is drop. Drop of the stock is the distance, and forgive me because this bench isn't particularly flat, is the distance between when your rib is flat on a nice flat surface, no beads or anything, make sure your beads aren't on, the distance between this point and the parallel line, or the straight line, and this point and the parallel line. This obviously affects on how high your eye is, but in comparison to your perfect line of sight, aka 
point of impact shooting. Some people do like it high, so bear in mind what it's for. A game gun will have a bit flatter, so you'll see less rib. A sporting might want to see more rib. If you're a particularly aggressive shooter, you'll get your head right down on the gun. That might require a, a higher thing. If you're a more open shooter, you might see more rib. So it very much depends on your shooting style, your dimensions. Remember that this wood here is designed to fit into your face here, and then that distance there is sort of the distance of height that you need. However, because the stock is pitched, Hey, hey, hey. Lower at the back than it is at the front. Depends very much on getting the length right first, obviously, because if you're going to make it longer, yet you've adjusted the height first, that's not going to do anybody any favours. Quite fundamental in terms of setting a gun up for how you like it to shoot. Obviously, if you're looking down on the rib, the gun is going to be shooting high as opposed to your line of sight. That's not good. And if you're low, your head's going to be floating around, you're going to cause inconsistencies, and if you manage to put it down on the gun, you're not going to see any rib. It's all going to get crowded by the back of the action here. So cast. Like all things gun fit related, it all very much relies on this, the rib, and how that points towards where the gun is pointing. Cast is the actual bend of the stock that way, or that way, away from this centre line. For a right-hander, it will always be that way, and for a left-hander, it will always be that way. I say always, there are certain fits where the opposite cast actually achieves the correct fit. Some people, okay, right-handers needing left-handed guns, left-handers needing right-handed guns. However, for the most part, guns will need to be bent in the correct direction. In varying amounts, obviously everybody's jaw size is ever so slightly different, everyone's shoulder width is different. This being the case, Obviously, cast needs to be different. So, it's actually the thing that people do least out of everything we see. I extend a lot of guns, but I cast very few by comparison. However, I would say cast is, is very important. Not maybe quite as important as length, but it's, I think it's all on a par. If you want your gun fitted, you might as well get the whole thing done. Uh, this is done using heat, so we heat the wood up, it becomes very malleable, and then it's essentially formed to the place where you want it. Uh, this gun actually has Christ, quite a lot of cast. I couldn't see that until I had a look at it. Quite a lot of cast. It's my gun. I need a lot of cast. I've got a big, big fat face. So um, the, the more fat are you, the wider your jaw, the fatter your face, the more cast you need without having to then roll your head. However, if you turn your nose over your thumb, you can cancel out a touch of cast. But that's all very much personal. If somebody turns their head a lot when they put a gun into their shoulder, they're going to need a little bit less cast. So it's very technique driven let's say. However, something that always needs to be looked at, because if you're not looking down this line, you're looking across this line, you're not going to be pointing anywhere near the target. Height you can compensate for, length you can compensate for, but if your eye isn't down this line, you're going to be giving something, everything, a natural extra foot of lead one way or the other, which is oh, very difficult to work with. Very, very difficult to work with. In conclusion, what well, We've discussed what car, what fit is, or what it's to do with. It's all about getting your eye behind this rib, looking down the rib at the right height, and making sure you're comfortable whilst you're holding this gun, not too hunched up or not too extended. Now, that's the whole point of gun fit. It can be achieved in many ways. Extensions can be put, various things can be put on the back. It can be shortened in various ways. It can be cast, it can be bent, and the height can be adjusted. Adjustable combs can be fitted. The whole point of this video is, is to let you know what, what it is, and really, as a final conclusion to say, Get it done, get it checked. Don't get it checked by a mate, get it checked by someone who knows what they're doing. A lot of people go on this autocorrect thing where they'll make a gun fit them. This, it's not good, that really isn't good. A lot of people starting out will come into the shop and ask for guns fitted. It's quite difficult unless you develop a technique to fit a gun properly. A gun that fits you better than most is going to be obviously a good start, however, perfect fit isn't to be achieved. And thirdly, gun fit changes. People put on weight, they lose weight, they grow, they change, they shrink. Things change, your body changes, the way you shoot changes, your eye changes, the way your neck changes. The older I get, the less agile I feel myself getting, the more the less aggressive styles of shooting I take because I can't get over the gun quite as easily as I used to. As depressing that sounds, I don't feel myself being as limber as possible, quite as flexible. Things change, get your gun fitted. And uh, we'll go into a bit more detail about these things later on in a few more videos. Thank you very much for watching.